let's take a look at all of the tools that are available for previewing and playing back content inside Pro Video Player 2. To play back content, all we need to do is select the layer we want to play back and we can click a clip and play it back. Now to preview other clips while this is playing back, we can now use Quick Preview by option clicking on a video clip and you can see that we get a nice playback of what that clip looks like, which is really, really handy. We also have an option for the transition that is used between clips down here right now. You can see we have a dissolve selected, but we also have other options like maybe an iris effect. So if we play back this clip, you can see it irises between one clip and the other. And there's some 3D effects in here we can use as well, like a cube effect. Now we can actually set these as a default for an individual clip and not for all videos. So let's say this uh, tunnel uh, space look here we have, we wanted a specific transition every time this clip is selected. We can do this easily by right clicking on the clip and going to transitions. Now we can choose which transition we want to use. So maybe for this one we want to have it be an iris effect every time it's selected and we want it to be kind of a longer transition so we can click that, hit done. You'll notice when I switch to this it's still using the default fade that we have set down here. But when I click on this now you're going to see that long iris effect that we had. That'll be used every time that clip is triggered. We can also easily apply effects to any video clip. We can do this for the workspace, the layer, or even to individual video clips. So with the layer selected, we can choose which layer we want our effects to apply to, and we're gonna say, uh, let's do it to the default layer, we could do current layer, or we could do layer two. But we're gonna do default layer. Let's select a video clip, so we'll select this clip here, and we can go in and say, uh, let's apply a blur to this. So we're gonna do an edge blur. I'll select this, and you'll see that all of a sudden it becomes nice and blurry. We could also maybe do an RGB adjust, so we can uh, select this, and we can start messing around with our RGB values and you can see I'm pulling out the reds in that or we could maybe pull out the greens or the blues. We can start adjusting how this video clip looks and we can easily remove these by deselecting them and it will go back to normal. Lastly, you can get fine-tuned control by using manual mode. So all you have to do is make sure you're in the layer area and then click the manual button. Now we can play back a video clip and you'll see it's over on the left side and we kind of have a virtual T-bar here that we can use to transition this clip in. Now we can select another video clip, it'll show up on the right side and we can transition between those two clips. And you can see they can play on top of each other. We can also use this to clear layers out manually. So I'm gonna clear the layer out and then I can go over here and grab my virtual T-bar and bring this guy over and manually remove this from the screen. So this is really handy when you want to get fine-tuned control or if you want to, let's say, uh, blend two clips together. So we can bring this clip in, then we can add some particle loop here and we can bring these guys and play them right on top of each other.